One of the best DJs with, with the worst names in the music industry right now is, is Ryan, DJ Ryan Hemsworth. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how bad his name is. He's one of the baddest selectors and DJs in the game right now. Up and coming, crazy. I mean, sometimes um, I do wish I had used like a cool, weird, abstract name, uh, just because it would probably be easier. But it was just kind of laziness. I like made a few songs that I sent to like bloggers or whatever uh, a few years ago, and just had my name on it, and they were posted in that way. And I was kind of like, okay, I guess I'll just use my name. Coming straight out of Canada. Ryan Hemsworth, he's a mysterious guy. I think he's from Halifax, which is even weirder. I mean, it's like very nice, classic East Coast Canada. There's a lot of great like rural stuff going on and there isn't really like a you know, breeding ground for electronic people. I started playing guitar when I was like 13, learning like every Foo Fighters song and every Nirvana song I could. And I was playing guitar, singing, recording myself on drums, putting it together as like a rock song, but then I started like taking the parts of my vocals and then looping certain parts or putting weird effects on them. That's kind of how it slowly became electronic music, I guess. Left my guy at home. I, I took journalism in school and I loved it, but I usually just like went home and worked on music on my own. Literally, like I didn't like go to my last few days of class because I was like out in Toronto playing a show with Shlomo. Music was like just starting to be self-sustaining at that point. It was kind of perfect timing. And, you know, everything that I have accomplished and everywhere I'm going, it's all just through like Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. It it all kind of comes from from that. And, in the beginning. I just kind of like was in contact with all the We Did It guys just through email and shit and just sending music back and forth and just like kind of seemed all you know um, similar in some way like I don't know we just clicked and it just kind of made sense to start working together I guess. We Did It's becoming kind of this like label almost like brand thing. It began just as like a group of friends putting out music on a band camp but if there's ever like a good collective or group people just feel this like magnetic force like you just want to like see everything they're doing and listen to everything that they put out. I think I just really like Future and people like that because it's I grew up on like Elliot Smith and honestly it's like not that different in my mind you know when I listen it's like I feel like future is becoming like the rap game of Elliot Smith in a way which is like the perfect thing to exist in my opinion I know like the sad boys movement or whatever that's going on is like pretty cheesy but I think it's just cool that it's opening doors for people to be more just like earnest and make genuine shit not be fake Anything I ever remix really, it's just stuff that I like that I want to put my own twist onto. I mean, nowadays I'll, I'll get more work with like people requesting it and stuff, but it's still just like, I'm only going to do it if it's a song I love, and also I don't think I'll like ruin it if I do anything to it. It's funny now, I think a lot of people are in this position where you're kind of labeled as like this laptop producer or whatever. People are interested in you, so they're like, come to the studio and like, work on this shit and then you're like in front of a huge mix board which has like all this stuff that you don't understand and everybody's looking at you and like expecting you to just like be like Timbaland or something and just make a song in 10 seconds. So that's all like a different kind of pressure that I'm trying to figure out and everything. I, I just really like sitting and like focusing on every little thing by myself and then just like bringing something good to people, you know? So all the collaborating stuff is still fairly new to me. Yeah, I guess I kind of approach things more as just like a, a fan when I'm making music than a straight up 
genius composer or anything. I just really like throwing in things that are on my mind. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know why I might put like a quote from like a 70s movie in the beginning of a Kanye West remix. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crying in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad! Just like was in my mind that morning when I was making it. And it made sense, so, you know, it's trial and error with every song that I make, and sometimes it all adds up and makes perfect sense, and other times not so much, and I don't know. But I just want to, like, play weird, unexpected shit on a Friday night instead of just top 40, whatever. It's usually, like, 50% my own stuff and 50% just stuff I enjoy from rap or my friends' um, music and bit of everything really and then just also a lot of references to like 90s shit and stuff I grew up on as well like kind of just more like nostalgia little reference points and stuff. Uh, I finally finished my album which is gonna be out in October and um, that's gonna get like a real release so that'll be like my first physical and vinyl uh, project and that's I'm excited for that finally got like the test pressing so I actually get to like hold like physical copy of my music which is like really awesome to have and then I've also just been working with a lot of singers and rappers and stuff as well which is gonna kind of periodically be released over the next few months yeah that and just a lot more touring touring is kind of like a weird thing because obviously you're flying to amazing countries and being paid to play music that's such a crazy luxury but obviously it's like the most exhausting thing as well basically like now I'm just like constantly touring and so you need to find a way to make new music at the same time while you're on the road at the airport on trains whatever just so you, you don't fall behind in your work schedule because it's really easy to obviously every night you're playing a show and you you're hung over the next day and then it's a lot of just very little sleep and trying to just be a responsible adult, I guess.